Good evening, good day, good night, wherever you are in the world. How is everybody doing today? Hallelujah. I'm not going to be before you long today. Hope all is well with everyone that's watching, everyone that's tuned in. Everyone that stopped by this channel today, everybody that is subscribed to this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said, I'm not going to be before you long today. I, I'm going to pray. This is going to be a prayer. I'm just going to let the Holy Spirit have his way. Just going to let him move. And do what he do best. Just let him have his way. Come on in this place, Holy Spirit. Move in this place today. Come, Father God. Have your way, have your way, have your way. This is your time, this is your hour. Thank you, Lord God. Let us just be able to sit at your feet. And enjoy your presence in our homes, our hearts, and our minds. Thank you, Lord God. And I'm praying. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy, thy, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth. As is it is in heaven. Forgive us. This day. Our daily bread. And lead us. Lead us. Lead us. Lead us. Lead us. Not temptation, But deliver us. Deliver us. Lord. From evil. For thine is your kingdom. Let your will be done. Come Holy Spirit. Move. In this prayer tonight. Move in the people lives tonight. Touch. Them, each and every one, this very moment, that they can feel peace in their homes. They can feel joy in their homes. They can feel the happiness in their dwelling place. Cover them with your blood, each and every one of them, every family that's here listening right now. Every family that is subscribed to this channel right now, hold their hands and never let them go. Let them be the apple of your eye. Pray for them when they can't pray for themselves. You know each and every one of them. You have created them. You made them. You love them. And help me. To see them through your eyes. That I can see others through your eyes. 
I'm a vessel here. Available. Willing. To help build your kingdom. Continue to help them grow in Christ. Every day, all day. It's a process. Help them to trust the process. Give them the strength to go through the process. Help them not to get weary in well-doing. Help them not to give up. Help them not to faint. Meet them where they are. Right now in their lives. Show up and show out. In their lives, show them your glory. Rain down on them. We just thank you, Lord God. For listening to this prayer. Hearing this prayer, answering this prayer in your timing. And just let your will be done in their lives. Cover their homes, their minds, their families, their properties with your blood. Keep them up. From all hurt, harm, and danger. Let them have a good night rest tonight. That they sleep will be sweet. That they can wake up in the morning fresh and anew in your anointing. Pour your spirit upon them. Search their hearts. Search my heart. If there is any, any, any wicked way, remove it and replace it with your humility. That we can be more Christ-like. That we can walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. That we can submit to you, daddy. We have to submit to you. That we can obey your commandments. Obey your laws. Study your word. And be bold in Christ. That we can walk in our purpose. Help your people to find a purpose. What you created them to do. You created them for something. Help them, help them to find what it is. So they can be about their father's business. Help me to bring heaven down. To earth. I know sometimes it may not seem like it, may not look like it. We can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. Romans 8, 6, I believe that's what it is, Romans 8, 6. Tell us about peace. We can have peace. 
and we are spiritual minded. Our mind can be stayed on you. You'll bring us peace that passes all understanding. I speak peace over the people's lives today, tonight, this evening, this morning, tomorrow, and from this day forward. Walk with them. Talk with them. Let them know that you are alive. And that you love them. Let them heed to your calling. Let them experience an encounter with you. Fill their cups up. Let them overflow. That they can pour into other people. That they can can become disciples. And lead others to Christ. We love you, Lord. We are standing in the need of prayer. We're standing in the need of prayer. So war going on. Lord, help us. We need your help. Help the people. Some people just depressed, stressed out, want to give up. There is hope in God. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up on your father. Don't give up. Hold on to his unchanging hand. Weeping may endure for a night. And just know that joy is going to come in the morning. And that this too shall pass. Better days are coming. And the best is yet to come. Trust in the Lord with all that heart and lean not to your own understanding. And in all your ways, acknowledge your Lord and Savior. And he shall direct your path if you allow him to. God, I just thank you for such a time as this. Thank you for looking out for your people. Thank you for healing all of their needs today. According to your riches and glory. Thank you that you are our supplier. That you are our Leela of the Valley, bright and morning star. Thank you that you sent your son to die on the cross for our sins. Where would the people be if it wasn't for you on their side? God, I just say thank you. For looking out, looking out for your people, I say thank you. Keep them humble. Open up doors that they thought would never open. Close doors they thought would never close. That needs to be closed. Open up the windows of heaven. And pour them out blessings that they will not have room to receive. That they can just give and give and give and give to others. 
to put a smile on someone else's face, to put a smile on your face and say, look at my daughter down there. Look at my son down there. They is in alignment with my will. They're making me pleased. They're making me proud to be their father. And we just thank you, Lord God. And if there's anything, Lord, anything, if it's sickness of finances, peace, love, Whatever is missing, whatever they're lacking, you know what each and every one of them is standing in need of even before I ask, even before they ask. Let your will be done in their lives. Draw them closer to you. Let them draw close to you and stay close to you. Whatever they stand in their need of, we know that you got it and that you is our own time God. Yes, you is. I just bless your name today. I say hallelujah to you today. Go before them, Holy Spirit. Let them follow you. Lead and guide them each and every day. And I just thank you so much for listening to me answering this prayer that you didn't turn a deaf ear to your children, to the ones in need. Of your power, your strength, of your might. Break whatever needs to be broken. Mend whatever needs to be mend. Remove whatever needs to be removed. We trust you, Lord. You know what's best for your people better than they know. Keep them near the cross. And this is my prayer that I pray in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I seal this prayer with the blood of your Son. Have your way. Have your way. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Thank you, Lord God. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Forgive me of all of my sins, knowing and unknowing. Help me to be a better peacemaker a better kingdom builder for your glory that you will be glorified. Thank you, Lord God. And this is all that I have for this day. And until next time, peace, love, and blessings.